She really needs me no choice. I gently open the door. So <laughs> Hello dear gamers, Yorkfield here and today we are back for the episode 8 on Doki Doki Literature Club. So the last time was the saddest part so far. I'm not sure how far it will go to be that sad and depressing, but I'm hope, I mean I hope that I'm not gonna have like a mental breakdown or something similar to that, just like I said in the last video. So make sure you stay tuned smash the like button otherwise the four waifus are gonna haunt your dreams for the rest of your life now without further ado let's go back in the literature club for the eighth time it's the day of the festival of all days i expected this to be the one where i'd be walking to school with sayori but sayori isn't answering her phone i considered going to her house to wake her up but i decided that's a little too much Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me to not forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend the time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Yorkfield, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that have all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and I submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You'd think that on days this important she'd try a little harder? I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful, knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But, maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all? <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Yorkfield. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. But I stammer embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing that it up with anyone yet. Jeez, you don't know the full story at all, so don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason, I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grab one of the pamphlets, lay down on the desks. I'm not sure why there's no music right now. Because my, see, my volume, see, my volume is up, but there's no music. I don't know it's gonna be, if it's gonna be creepy. I hope not, because otherwise I'm just gonna freak out like a crazy old man. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is nearly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. What the fuck? Get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my get out of my head. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. What the hell happened to you? Why do you say get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head all the time in this poem? What happened to you? Ah, oh, what is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit on my stomach. Yorkfield, what's wrong? Ah, oh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori has written. But more than that, I, I changed my mind. I'm going to get to go get Sayori, so... Ah, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? 
I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and I let myself in. Sayori, she really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Walking up in her own house, that really is something a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori, wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really needs me no choice. I gently open the door. So <laughs> What the fuck? What the hell's going on? She is hung! What the hell? The game is glitching! Oh, oh my god! And except, what the hell is this? See traceback.txt for details. I'm sorry, but an uncalled exception occurred. <gasps> Oh jeez, I didn't break anything. Did I? Hold on a second, I can... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. No, 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 But what the hell? Why did she got hung? Oh mon dieu, je n'arrive pas à y croire mes yeux. Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her what's the best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spend more time with her, walk her to school and remain friends with her like he has always been then I could have prevented this I know I could have prevented this screw the literature club screw the festival I just lost my best friend someone I grew up with she's gone forever now nothing I do can bring her back this isn't some game where I can reset and try something different I had only one chance, and that wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than her. But still, I couldn't do what she needed for me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 Wait. And? What the fuck? Wait. What the fuck?! Monica, what did you? The game is messed up. Monica got instead of Sayori. What the heck? And the new game text is all corrupted here. See? Let me check the little game. Okay, okay. My save is here just in case. Okay. What? What the fuck? I see an annoying girl. Oh no, it's starting from the beginning. That girl is. Ugh. 
What the fuck? I'm skipping the dialogue book because it's the exact same in the first episode. What the fuck? Monica, Yuri! What the heck? It's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the, the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that, but I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting on by the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really are any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Yorkfield. <gasps> Monica! Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Ah, oh. yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other well. We rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, and athletic. Basically completely out of my league, so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for, anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Oh, markers? I guess you could check the closet. You the debate club, right? <laughs> How about that? I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing on the budget and publicity of, and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature... You scared me, Monica! Stop! A literature club. Literature? That sounds like kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um... Uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that, but it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in, her, in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member is a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Yorkfield. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Ah. I mean, I guess so, but in that case, is there any chance you would do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please. Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I could check it out. Ah, awesome. You're really sweet, Yorkfield, you know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'll look for the materials another time, you're more important. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I timidly follow Monica around, across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings to open the classroom door. What the heck? I'm back. And I brought a guest with me. <gasps> what the fuck? Stop! Huh? A guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Wait, we are going back to the beginning, but without my beloved Sayuri. <laughs> I just can't get over that, guys. I just cannot get over that. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Yorkfield. All words escape me in the situation. This club is full of incredibly cute waifus. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. 
The vice president was Sayuri! But she... Oh my goodness! This game is really messed up, guys. This game is really messed up. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Yorkfield in a classroom and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica! Didn't I tell you to tell me no in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to... well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but it just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Yorkfield? The girls have a few, few desks around and for a form of a table. Yui walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Little Rich Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new one. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interesting in putting out all the effort to start something new. Sorry if I'm skipping some dialogues or if I'm doing them really fast. It's because, you know, it's the exact same dialogue or almost the same as in the beginning of the game as in the episode 1, if you remember. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it now on the card shown right now. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature, you have to work hard to convince people that you're fun, but it makes school events like festival more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate, right Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki re reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each other. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the tea just gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot crowd of tea help you enjoy? Ah, I guess. <laughs> Don't get yourself intimidated, Yudi just trying to impress you. Ah, that's not. Insulted, Yudi looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. We, well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yudi faintly smiles to herself in relief. So you all feel what? Things are, what do you like to read? Well, considering how little I've read, manga? I've muttered quietly myself. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. What about you, Yuri? Let's see. Uh, novels, okay. Oh uh, yeah, I remember that she liked horror. Uh, okay, the flashback comes back, guys. The flashback is coming back in my in my head. Gosh, the game isn't the same without Sayori. I don't know what I can say. How about this? Oh no, oh no, 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 I remember that I wrote a poem in the first episode. It's coming back, guys. Yeah, Sayuri was just replaced by Monica in the dialogue. I just saw that for like half a second. Uh, the thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. Well, that is because Sayori died. And if we don't find one more before the festival, 
I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. Right, okay, I decided then, I'll join again. Ah, uh, yeah. They suddenly lit up. You really did scare me for a moment. We've become an official club now! Thank you so much, you're really amazing. I'll do everything I can give you a great time, okay? Ah, thanks, I guess. I'm not sure about that, guys. I think we can end that in the meeting. Writing, writing a poem. Monica looks over at me once more. Yorkville, I look forward to see how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class style Monica with my mediocre writing? Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. I can't wait. Okay. It only shows the three girls now instead of the four since Sayuri, Sayuri is gone. It's, uh, yeah, between the three girls, Natsuki, Yuri, and Monica. Oh my gosh. Oh, you have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Yes. Oh my god, there's blood! There's blood on the poem. Oh my goodness. Today I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how be it feels now. I'm supposed to be a responsible one, though. So I don't think I'll be doing it again unless I decide to kill myself. I left to a memento of the incursion below. What the fuck? I'm speechless, guys. I don't know what to say about this. This game is not a, it's not a normal visual novel, guys. It's a horror game now. It's a horror game. Okay, I'm gonna write that quick. But there's only Natsuki and Yuri. I wrote a poem for Sayuri, but she's gone. <sighs> Fuck my life. Fuck my life. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna write one for Yuri. Since Yuri is also pretty. I have no choice since Sayuri is gone. So. Sparkle. Um... Peace. Email again. Uh, beauty. Wait, all of these words are for Natsuki? Okay. Games. Mm. Promise. Uh, frightening. Because this is for Yuri, so in, in she loves horror, so... Um... Heartbeat. Um, extreme, since I am a core 2 extreme processor. Uh, cute. Hair. Uh, dream. No, I'm not gonna say graveyard, if any, even if I'm depressed right now, because they do not know that I'm depressed. So, whistle. Uh, unstable. Fear. Color. Memories. Kawaii. Fever. And the second to last one. Uh, giggle and the last one anime what the fuck is this what the fuck is this hi again glad to see you well I'm back oh oh Yuri's face watch glitching I hope this isn't too overwhelming <gasps> Natsuki what the hell it was <laughs> Everyone is glitching, guys! Oh my god, my glasses. What's going on with the music? It's pitched up. 
He already had to be dragged here by Monica. But wait, she's in the front of the text. Usually the characters are always behind the, you know, the little window here. Like where the mouse is right now. This isn't normal. Uh oh, what the fuck happened to your face, Natsuki? <laughs> I remember when I said, oh, what the fuck happened to your face, Sayori? Now Natsuki does the same. <laughs> Swiftly defeated Natsuki for back. I'm sorry. The music is pitching up more and more! Anyway... Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm this club now. Ah, there we go. Now the music is back to normal. I just noticed that the head, the HUD, if I can say that, is tilted over a little bit, just like my head. Just... So it only feels like... So it only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. Wait... I didn't mean it like that. Uh, if you don't really want to, then forget what I said. Anything, I guess. Ah, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be a part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'll be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president at all, that's I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into the bag and pulls book. I didn't want you left out. Okay, discuss it if you wanna. This is how this girl accidentally being so cute. You really think you I'll read this? Wait, the head is tilting more and more, and the music. Oh, okay. I was about to say the head head is tilting more and more, and the music is still pitched. Yuri's face is buried in a book, like always. Ugh, oh, I hear Natsuki at an expert aside from the within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her just in case you need something. You're looking for something? Fucking mo- Okay, this game contains swearing, guys. Fucking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. Manga? You read manga, right? Yeah, sometimes. How do you know? I had you bring it up. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's... I see... There it is! Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. Perfect Girls? Yeah, I remember Perfect Girls. Don't touch a book! In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Perfect Girls. I'm gonna show you. Ah. Don't just stand there. Ooh, ah, or ooh, ooh, like I said in the second episode, and I put mood on her laugh. <laughs> she then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? Yes. No. Never mind. We're just back to the beginning of the game, guys. I, I remember when I sit, I, I was sitting right here, right next to Natsuki, and we were reading a m manga, I think. That's either in the second or in the third episode. I remember that. Like, the dialogues are almost the same, but with a few curse words. And, yeah, the game is just messed up, guys. The game is totally messed up. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. What the? Okay, stop swearing, okay? Stop swearing. I know I'm swearing sometimes in videos, but... Anime girls shouldn't swear a lot, you know? Oh, the screen just got dark. That didn't happen before. Time passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet. I glance over to her. Oh. Oh, she fell, she fell asleep. Suddenly, Natsuki collapses straight into me. Hey! What the fuck? What the fuck happened to you, Natsuki? What are you saying? Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? 
Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give... Mm. She, doesn't, she doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't, don't worry, Yorkfield. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? Okay, we're gonna share the poems and then we're gonna end this episode. It's the worst one so far. When I mean the worst, I mean the worst thing that happened in the game so far. So I'm gonna show it to Monica first this time. Yesterday she seemed, e yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem and I want her to put, know what I'm putting in effort. Hi Yorkfield, having a good time? Yeah, good, glad to hear that. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid. I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid. Anyway, want to show you a poem? It's kind of embarrassing, but I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, we're all embarrassed here today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier we'll get past soon. Yeah, that's true. A hand moniker in my poem. I like it. Yeah, she likes that too. It's a lot cuter. Okay. It's gonna be the same no matter what, I think. Yeah, Natsuki is a good writer, if you say so, if you're interested in Natsuki. She cling to Inkyo puppy, haha, ha, ha, Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house. She sees a fussy mood pretty often, but sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. Like earlier, this is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too you know petite is another french word petite means little but it's feminine petite is masculine petite is feminine feminine so yeah, another transparent word sorry just trying to look at the bright side anyway do you want to read my poem now don't worry i'm not very good you sound pretty confident for someone that's not very good because i have some confidence that doesn't mean i feel that way you know i see let's read it then um, did I already read that? No, okay, I didn't. Hole in wall, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance at my surroundings, but my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems that flat sheets of paper? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scandering playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish on my pen. So what do you think? Very free form. Yeah. Yeah, that style is pretty popular. When you perform now, it could be powerful. What was the inspiration? Not sure. Empiphany, influencing my poems a bit. An empiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm nervous to talk about these stuff like that. Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem, your brain gets too fixated. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly the same thing. If you keep your pen in the same way, you just got a big thing of ink. Move your hand and go with the flow. Thanks for listening. Okay, let's do... Natsuki next. Okay, let's start with the thing I don't, don't like. First of all, Natsuki rereads my poem. Ne never mind, I don't think give, like giving you my opinion. What's the point of sharing it? Uh... You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and made me go, Ha! Ah, well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So in the bottom words, you're saying you liked it? Ugh. Natsuki retort gets caught in her throat. Ooh, you so. You just don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing in the world like you're all self-important. <sighs> Natsuki must really hate me or something. Okay. I already read that. Eagles can fly. Yeah, I like it, but she thinks that I don't. 
because it's not the style that everyone thinks about. Okay, here we go, Yuri. Yuri stares at home, I'm gonna pass his. Sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Don't force yourself, I'm not. Hold on, this is your first time. Uh, yeah, like she's timid. Okay, I think she's gonna show her poem now. Yep. Okay, it's a different one now, I think. Yeah, it's a different one. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. I think it must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bath. Calms. Breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. No, I as I said, it's not terrible, but not um, like I've used to seen before, you know? That's everyone. Okay. What happens to the music? What's with this language? Uh, did you say something? Ah, yeah, I think it was the moment where they fought each other or something. Like in the uh, third episode, I think. Ah, yeah. That's when they were fighting. Just like... Oh, it was talking about the boobs. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Me? Look who's talking! You wanna be edgy, bitch? Edgy? Sorry, my laptop is too much for someone who of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? What's going on with the music? If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute you can about here is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful or you might cut yourself on that age, Judy. Oh, my bad, you already do, don't you? Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Yorkfield hear everything you really think. I'm sure the head over feels for you after this. Ah, suddenly Yuri turns towards me. As if to notice I was standing here. Yorkfield, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. How? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I wasn't even pressing end to the, the enter key. So you know what? It's still Natsuki. What the fuck? Come on. Why am I zo zooming in? Stop! Come on. Come on. Wait! Whoa! Monica! What are you doing on the screen? Hey, Yorkfield. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to get to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Ah, <laughs> some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own core members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes, but never, I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if... This makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'll be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh my god, she was like a ghost, what the fuck? Oh dear, 
Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri, I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki or did. Yorkfield, please don't hate me. Please, I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Yorkfield. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. So, I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really appreciate... Oh my goodness! Okay, I'm gonna save the game. But I'm... <gasps> she delayed him! Monica, what have you done? She deleted my save! The fuck? Wait. No! My save is totally gone! See? It's just totally gone, guys. <sighs> God damn it! I can never see Sayuri again. Unless if I reinstall the game, of course, but... Damn it! That was the worst, the worst episode so far. So, remember when last time at the end of the video I said it was the worst episode so far? I take back my words from that last episode and I say this time it's the worst one yet because my beloved Sayori in the game, of course, my beloved, is gone. She's just disappeared. She's hung and dead. I can never meet her anymore. And as I was saying in the beginning, screw the literature because without Sayori, the game is not the same anymore. Yeah. So please... Press F in the comments to pay respect to Sayori's death, okay? If you don't press F, then you don't have any mercy to anime waifus be dying, okay? So please, do this or you will not have mercy to anime girls, like I said. Thank you for watching. We will be back, hopefully, in part 9 for DDLC. Stay safe, take care, peace, bye.